Hey guys, Dash here from Curse, and I'm here to ask and answer, what's the hype behind No Man's Sky? And perhaps more importantly, is it justified? For the uninitiated, No Man's Sky has managed to rack up best original game, best independent game, and the special commendation for innovation, and the game hasn't even been released yet. So what fundamentally sets No Man's Sky apart from other games to the point where it's being showered with accolades before it's even launched? Developed by Hello Games, the British indie studio behind the critically acclaimed Joe Danger series, No Man's Sky is inspired by science fiction novels and the childhood dreams of Sean Murray, the studio's co-founder. No Man's Sky is a first-person sci-fi adventure and exploration game set in a procedurally generated environment. Players will explore multiple galaxies, gather resources from planets, and discover new species all aboard their very own customizable ship. There are no tedious quests, cutscenes, or long-winded missions to hinder the player's discovery of the vast universe around them. The main goal of the game is to travel to the center of the universe, and how long that will take is entirely up to the player. While other game franchises have utilized procedurally generated environments before, notably Dwarf Fortress and Minecraft, no other title has been as enterprising as No Man's Sky. With over 18 quintillion planets, it would take each player nearly 585 billion years to explore the vast universe generated by the game. And that's only if each planet was explored for no longer than one second each. No Man's Sky has coined the phrase universe-sized sandbox full of choices, rightfully so, which potentially makes it a limitless gaming experience. The planets you'll encounter in-game are for once actually planet-sized. Much like our own universe, a planet's proximity to the sun will affect whether it is full of life or completely barren. Only 10% of planets will have life on them. The barren planets still have resources available for discovery. Every far off landscape in No Man's Sky is still accessible. There are no arbitrary boundaries in game that will hinder a player's exploration. The presence of planets with toxic environments will encourage players to upgrade their suits and ships to avoid sudden death. There are three main classes of ships, fighter, trader, and explorer, which will all have the potential to be upgraded with options such as powerful hyperdrives, heavy weapons, and stealth capabilities. A free ship will always be available, so players don't run the risk of being stranded without a means of transportation. However, if a player wishes to travel between star systems, purchasing hyperdrive fuel is a necessity. The economy in No Man's Sky is driven by a currency called Units, which players can earn through selling resources, battling pirates, or uploading discoveries to the Atlas. While Units are essential to aiding a player in their exploration, resources are also valuable in more ways than one. They can be used to upgrade technologies to aid a player in the quest. Players will also have the option to attack other space convoys within their environment and steal their resources, but choosing to engage in combat with other ships will have consequences. A faction may declare a particularly unfriendly player an enemy or undesirable behavior will attract the attention of the space police. Players may also choose to join factions and utilize the support that they would provide to further aid them in their gameplay. Just as the universe is procedurally generated, plant and animal life is as well. Players will come across unique species on various planets that vary wildly from one another and can either have a friendly or hostile demeanor. How a player reacts to the creatures they come into contact with will not affect only their gameplay, but the gameplay of others as well. The multiplayer aspect of No Man's Sky is also interesting, as players will have the ability to wipe out entire species, changing the game for everybody involved. With the vast size of the universe each player will inhabit, coming across other non-AI players will be extremely rare. While the game itself is incredibly promising, and again, groundbreaking, to successfully live up to the hype, No Man's Sky needs to be a seamless experience with its sandbox universe approach. The potential downfall will be if exploring these worlds is not engaging enough. A good example is Starbound, which boasted endless planets and regions to unlock and explore. However, its failing was evident in its first iteration, which had little to no AI or story, so exploring felt hollow, monotonous, just it was a really tedious experience. Now, if successful, No Man's Sky's innovations may rock the industry to its core, forcing developers to rethink their approach to open world development and environments evolving into greater universes 
and beyond. There is currently no set release date for the game, but it is rumored to be released in 2015, initially as a PS4 exclusive, followed by a release for PC. Make sure to let us know your thoughts on No Man's Sky in the comments below and why you're hyped for this upcoming title, or maybe you're not. Thanks for watching, and as always, enjoy the game.